Hey guys, welcome to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Shurifung. Today is our tutorial is about to know automation framework. Like what is automation framework? The types, different types of automation framework, and a little bit details with each and every type automation framework. Okay, let's go to here. Okay. So here, what is automation framework? This is very simple concept, but it's very important to important to know as you are developer or automation engineer. A test automation framework is a set of concept, rules, and best practices which can follow in a systematic way to achieve the desired rules. So there are different types of automation framework across our industry. The main the the main four types are data driven framework keyword driven framework hybrid framework and the last and the very up to date framework it's called page object pattern framework so let's get a little bit details drip drive uh, drip drive information about all those framework so data driven framework so data driven framework it's nothing but performing the same functionality with multiple input values or multiple set of data by using parameterization with the help of data table or data source is called data driven trust it means while automating or testing any application it may require to test the same functionality with multiple times with multiple set of uh, input data. In such case, we cannot let the test data embedded in the test script. Hence, it is advised to retain test data into some external database outside the test script. So da data-driven testing framework helps the user segregate the test script logic and the test data from each other. It lets the user store the test data into an external database. The external database can be property files, which is we know dot property files, XML files, Excel files, text files, CSV files, and so on. The data is conventionally stored in key value pairs Therefore, the key can be used to access and populate the data within the, the script. For example, we want to test the logging scenarios, a logging system with multiple input fields with 10 different data sets. So it's a 10 different like username and password, 10 different username and password. So to test this, you can take following different approach number one create 10 script one of each data sets and run each test separately one by one which is very time consuming number two manually change the value into the test script and run it several times which is not efficient way to do do it number three import the data from Excel file or any external file, fetch the test data from Excel rows so one by one and execute the script, which is very smart way to do. So in the given three scenarios, first two are laborious and time consuming. Therefore, it is ideal to follow the third approach. And this third approach is nothing but a data-driven framework or we can call data-driven testing. Okay. Next is keyword driven testing. The keyword driven testing framework is an extension of data driven testing. In a sense that it is not only segregate the test data from the script, it also keeps the certain set of code belonging. This part is very important. Certain 
a certain set of code belonging to the test script into an external data file. The set of code are known as keywords, hence the framework is so named. Keywords are self-guiding as to what action needs to be performed on the application. The keywords and the test data are stored in a tabular-like structure and thus it is also popularly regarded as table-driven framework. Take a notice that keywords and test data are and titles independent of the automation tool being used. For example, keywords like you can see in the picture, keywords like login, click, link and verify link are defined within the code. So you know there is a keywords when it's a login or uh, login or uh, it's it's an action and then click link is an uh, is a locator to click any link verify link that's another locator you know verify login uh, in user so those are the keyword you know it's uh, embedded with the test data okay next is hybrid framework hybrid framework is a combination of frameworks between the keyword and keyword driven and data driven framework so it's the combination of both the most significant advantages of a hybrid testing framework is it's a hybrid nature because they combine the benefit of all associated testing framework helping professional to leverage all the best about them in a clear-cut manner so you will get the both benefits as per data driven and a keyword driven framework that's all about the hybrid framework next page object pattern framework it is an up-to-date smart concept framework as uh, as create a separate class for an individual page and put all the belonging object of that page here is example for a home page create a class name example so uh, home class and put all the objects path and related method so that you can call those methods from test class so home page inside the home class repeat the same things for all other pages it means you can see here is an example this is my uh, project the Maven project and here is a page object uh, packages and uh, I have you know two classes one is login page another one is landing page say so about the login page so it means say example that your uh, your test is about a login page so what are you gonna do uh, in terms of page object so you will create a separate class something like this login page and you will put you will put all of your belonging I mean all the element that you need to uh, you know locate to use uh, for for this login page say like email element you know so you will locate that and then put in a variable and similarly your password field in a variable and also your login button and you know we will create separate separate method like get email get password get get login you know for those uh, by using those element right and so so when you say email you know uh, uh, element is nothing about the email field right so those and I, I use this field in a method so similarly the password I use I this element in a method get password get login so those this method get email get password uh, login method have the knowledge about those uh, you know locator and uh, I create in my you know test class let's see my test class it's a login page so this is my actual test class so in test class whenever I need any element from the login page any element from the login page all I do I call those method so example get email here you remember that it has a get email get password get login get login method so all I do I 
I call this, you know, so this uh, method in my actual test class. It, it means I'm getting the, I'm uh, indirectly, I'm calling those element, you know, I'm locating those element, the field, the login, uh, the email field, password field, also the login button. So that's the, uh, you know, page object pattern concept that you're, you will have a separate class for each and every page and you put, you know, uh, you segregate all your element uh, from that page, whatever the element you are going to use for your test script and, and put this element inside a method and whenever in your actual test case you need any one of the element just call the related method in your actual test case and use that so okay so that's called the page object pattern format the advantages here is the some exa ex advantages easy to maintain easy readability of a script you saw this easy to maintain because if even you're one of the path for your element for a specific page got changed all you have to go to that specific class related to the page and change up there you don't have to you know change or update anything your actual test case is it readability of a script reduce or element duplicate uh, duplicacy reusability code reusability it means the same element if you need to use you know more than one times multiple times a different different test case uh, you can just call the same method related for uh, related with this uh, uh, element you don't have to you know write the same code for the same element you just call the method whenever any other test cases so that's that's give you the efficiency a control to reuse your codes and reliability and so and your code it's really reliability it's give you the one of the a key feature which is a reliability okay so those are the key ob uh, uh, benefits for using page object pattern easy to maintain easy readability reduce or element uh, duplicacy and reusability and also reliability okay so that's all about the page object pattern so this is the four you know the framework concept it's uh, you know the, it's mostly or uh, widely used in our industry okay so that's all for now thank you so much and you have a good one